Let's give it up for Mr. Brian Salabas, yes. Alexa Dimayuga, yes. Elena Kalimlim, and also, did you guys hear the news? Pacquiao has finally announced his run for president. I mean, yeah, I have heard. So, never have I ever been a Marcos apologist. Oh, Miss Elaine, you have. You know, Marcos Highway, go ni Marcos. You know, and so. Eh, nakatira ako sa Marcos Highway. So, sabi ko, <laughs> oh, ano? Like, madaming nagawa si Marcos ganon. But then. Ano yung taon na? Diba? Hindi like, na to high school, man. Yeah. It's not high school anymore. Yeah, like, parang character development. Yeah, yeah. 5 a.m. You have to line up at 5 a.m. Parang ano, logging system ng New Year. Ayo, parang ang pigas ng ulo ng isang tao doon. So, you got Fabian Cucina. Voldemort. Cucina, Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort. Si Voldemort na lang. Voldemort na lang. <laughs> Good day to everyone. I am your host for today. I am Miguel de los Reyes, and welcome to another episode of the DSC podcast. And today we've got a very great topic. Let me introduce to you our guests for today. So, first of all, we have the ACE Director General for the year 2019 2020, and he is a doctor of dental medicine of the UE College of Dentistry, Batch. 2021. Let's give it up for Mr. Brian Salama. All right. Now up next, our second guest for today. She is part of NAS Academy head, heading on demand courses and part of community operations. She is a fourth year dental proper student at Unshano College, and she is an ex Rotaractor from UE College of Dentistry, and she is currently the head of design for a nonprofit organization called the Smile Initiative Philippines. Wow, I've heard that before. And she is Miss Alexa Dimayuga. And last but not the least, our last and final guest is, of course, she is an outstanding academic awardee from elementary to senior high school. Man, she has got the brains, and she is elected as secretary and president in high school. Wow, she is definitely an achiever. And if you think she's just an achiever, she's also won in a performing arts competition, specifically spoken word poetry entitled, quote, Ang Bayan Kong Mulat Nunit Tingi, a poetry used as a medium to raise awareness on the importance of the youth in nation building. And she is also an advocate on innovation as a tool for community engagement, such as adapting new pro new concepts, trends like uh, esports, arts, and media on environmental and social programs. Let's give it up for Miss Elena Kalimlim. So, guys, how are you guys doing tonight? I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Elena. Okay. Miss Alexa. Oh, nice, Super nice. nervous. Super nervous. Why? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Grab it, grab it, man. I mean, it's just genetics, I suppose. Pero aside from you know how are you guys doing tonight, how do you feel about you know all of the political aspects right now? Um, and daming news to of us these days. So how do you feel about the current political climate in the Philippines? Um, honestly, for me, um. For me, I think it's just right. Now there, there's a climate already, especially elections is approaching. So I think all of us need this to be aware of what's going on or what we're experiencing right now. Para, you know, we can wake up in a sense and especially registrations almost um, over for elections. So it's timely for us to be aware of what's happening. And also, yeah. did you guys hear the news, right, about um, PDP, the whole, like, PDP lab and thing, and now Pacquiao has finally announced his run for president? I mean... Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> so, it's, like, what's your guys' reaction to that? It's very... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I don't know what to say about it. Like, like, no comment. No <laughs> comment. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's exactly. a good boxer. <laughs> yeah. Boxer, but That's the only he, comment. He, he should do, um, he's doing good at that aspect. But I'm not sure with the government, you know, when being a politician. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, to be honest, it's like we're being put in a rock 
in a hard place this upcoming elections. Like usually you think ah sure ako dito sa tao na to. Ayun, parang sure ako. Pero yeah, just go for the lesser there's evil. Always a, na lang there's lahat. always a but kasi when it comes yeah. to uh, choosing a candidate uh, for elections yeah, yeah. when you're voting. So la- lahat sila, no one's a perfect candidate actually, but you have to go with someone that you know maybe who can still change while on the process or that something like that. It's a difficult one. At least we have an option to vote. I'd rather have someone else rather than just one person for the elections. And that's just, you know, a tough choice for us to make. But of course, as we're talking about the political climate of the Philippines now, I think everything's like rushing over and elections is just around the corner. Let's take away from all that seriousness and all that, you know, busy stuff. And let's play a little game. Huh? How do you guys feel about a little game? Ah, uh, kaba naman yun. No <laughs> game kind of yet? game is that? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's not, hindi naman siya Valorant or any, an OPC game. It's just a simple game. It's a game called Never Have I Ever. Wow. So, for today, we're going to play Never Have I Ever. And what I need from you guys is that I need you guys to prepare one piece of paper. One piece of paper. And then in the front, just write, I have. And in the back, write, I have never. So, never have I ever. You guys know the know the rules. Um, when you have done this certain thing, just flash it on the street or in your, your camera. And if you have never, just uh, turn it around the back or which side you put the never have I ever. Or never. And which one is I have, right? I hope that's all clear. So, first of all, let's start. So, never have I ever thought that our votes could just be useless. Ooh, Wait. Right, Ms. <laughs> Mr. Burrell, Alexa, and Miss Elaine. Wow. Brian, Alexa, what would you think of that? Um, for me, because there was a point where I thought that, you know, everything was just fixed, corrupt. So what's the point? For me, that was my, back then, that was my mindset. Like, what's the point? It's fixed, no man. It's, you know, um, people are corrupt. They're fixing votes. And I don't know. For me, that, that was what I thought. If in a national election... Um, basis if we're gonna base on that in that sense but then in other organizations and stuff like that elections our votes count but like on a national level i was just a little bit um i don't know negative about everything which was wrong and i admit it naman. yeah super yeah. ugly um with me naman count ng vote ko won't have that much of an impact no on because it's just me and uh, i can see that big number of people like support this kind of thinking and this kind of person so parang if i vote what's what's the difference diba so siya pa rin so yeah, yeah. but parang feeling mo maliit na ant ka it's yeah. like a big old animal like what's a drop in a bucket worth to changing everything diba so parang medyo hopeless yung feeling mm. seeing how in Philippines, very corrupt, you know, getting the against that government. Like it's been in the in the beginning of our country. It's very difficult. How about you, Miss Elaine? Yeah. So I answered never. Because yeah, I, from the start, naman, I never really lost hope in the political aspect of the uh, Philippine government. I never really lost hope. Kaya nga, when I was in elementary, I wanted to pursue something in politics. You know, I wanted to go law, but I went for dentistry. So. Um, for me, kasi, I get it. Eh. I get why people have, and I think majority thinks na walang purpose in vote nila. But for me, kasi, when everyone starts thinking about that, that one vote that you think is harmless will become a massive vote and will become, instead of having a power that is massive when you accumulate that individual votes, magiging powerless siya kasi yung thinking na yun is shared among by many individuals na. So, instead of making it a power, it's something na, yung nga, sinasabi nyo na wala na talaga siyang purpose kasi that one vote may mean nothing pero as a group, if everyone thinks that there is still hope sa in fixing the political aspect, you know, it will become something na and it will change a lot of things in in politics or in the government. Parang snowball effect, no? Maybe yes, you could yes. be the catalyst for the change in the country, but maybe one day we can, you know, remove the old and bring in with the new, right? Okay, anyways, now, the next question. Never have I ha- ever had an argument with family or friends because of different political stance. Uh-huh. Ooh, I have, okay, okay. 
So I want to hear your guys' sentiments on these because for me, personally, I've dropped friends who are super duper. Yung parang paniwalang paniwala. At, the, at then at some point, yung political belief na laging personality nila, which is like, what are you doing? Saan na yung friend na nakilala ko nung time na yan? Ano yan? Is there, diba? What do you think? What do you guys think of that? I think most of the time, it uh, regardless of who you support, kaman kasi, diba? it kind of speaks a lot about your personality. So, nagulat din talaga na you know your family. This is how they think. Na parang you, you support this, diba? Parang especially when it comes from family. Na parang you support um killings, ganyan. Parang for me, it's like. I don't know. I found it uh, to to the point that I found it a little bit toxic. Because if that's gonna be your environment, diba? so like whenever it's like that, man, I tend to avoid. Because in business, you know, um, we're talking about something. Uh, we're talking about something enlightening, diba? for everyone or educational or you know, just positive conversations, diba? arguments. Na you know, you just wanna share your thought or like, oh, what do you think, diba? But it becomes personal, na eh. parang grabe, You're attacking me now for. <laughs> it's it's becoming super toxic to the point that you know I don't want to engage in this kind of um, argument or something. It's just really toxic for me. Yeah, most politics today is centered around like moral beliefs these days, and how you just know one thing about them. You're just like you're tainted in my mind forever. Please, ito po yung exit sa buhay ng mga basa po kayo. How about you, Miss Alexa? Yeah, so with my family, it's just so like they like a part of my family. They support this dictator. So and then it's just they look at all the nice things that happened, and I'm I'm like, okay, but what about this, this, and this, right? So we shouldn't close our eyes to that. So it's very nice that I get to like. Inspire my the younger generation of our family. Like they're now joining um, revolutions for that um, um, organizations. We're in like yeah, Auntie Alex. Um, we we are against that. We and we should educate our older generation more because even when they um, experience it themselves, it's like they still know nothing. So we shouldn't all forget anything that happened. So yeah, sobrang toxic lang. Pero kaya naman pag wag mo lang silang sukuan na ano chikahin ganon. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. Chika. Yeah, so ang hirap kasi na ipush away ang family when it comes to like political things. Eh. So means that you just want to turn a blind eye. Hi, putita. Oh, bye bye. Sige po. Oh, yun lang. No way want. Sige po. Bye bye po. Okay, how about you, Ms. Ethan? Actually, it's quite refreshing no, na makita na hindi lang pala ako yung nakakadanas ng ganun. And I think there's a, quite a number of people that is experiencing that. Pero um, for me, because from my point of view, I don't see it as something toxic. Kasi, um, when you have that kind of conversation or you have that kind of argument in your, sa bahay niyo pa lang, you will be able to understand kasi the perspective of those people na opposite sa you. So you will not understand yung mga perspectives ng mga taong hindi mo kilala. So why do they think like that? Eh, yung mismo mga taong kilala mo, bakit ganun? So, I think, um, uh, kasi sa family namin, parang hiwalay talaga yung, we have that side na pag-usapan namin yung politics, pero after that, we're still a family after all, and we're gonna, we're gonna forget about that argument, and hopefully just, you know, at the end of the argument, we learned a thing or two from one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I think it's like um, out of all the things, like the best scenario is that you get into like a meaningful conversation, educate, you know, family members. And in the end, maybe you could turn them a new leaf, the bumble scenario, or at least make them notice about what is currently going on in the country. But, all right, now, next, I'm pretty sure some of you guys know people like this. So, never have I ever been a Marcos apologist. I have never. Yes, perfect, perfect. And I uh, hope, <laughs> Miss Elaine, you have. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, so Miss Elaine, 
Can you tell me Sorry. what happened? Sorry. What happened? Uh, first, I would like to apologize. No? It was a time of confusion and I am now um, enlightened about it and I, I, I am disgusted that I was once a uh, Marcus apologist. Because, um, Kaya nga, as I've said, ano eh, meron talaga sa family talaga, merong, may mga tao magsasabi sa'yo na ganito, ganyan si Marcos. And I was, I once believed that, you know. So, I, hindi pa, the time na hindi pa ako na, I wasn't doing my own research, you know. And I, I was just getting the information that they're giving me. And ganito nga, and, you know, Marcos Highway, guwaya ni Marcos, you know. And, So, eh, nakatira ako sa Marcos Highway. So, sabi ko, o nga no? Sabi ko, sabi ko, eh, di ganun. So, I said na, baka nga mas madaming, like, madaming nagawa si Marcos, ganun. But then, when, as I progress to, as I meet people, and I, I uh, pursue tertiary, tertiary education and senior high school, um, I met people that uh, opened my eyes sa uh, reality na, It's not just about the infrastructures yung nabigay niyang parang nabigay niyang advancements sa Philippines but rather um dito na papasok yung who are you as a human who are you as a Filipino and nakalimutan mo ba na ganito ganyan na uh, despite all those um infrastructures and advancements na that served only as a mask No, parang tinitingnan ko siya as a mask na lang na pinapalan yung mga dumi na ginawa niya. Exactly. Ako, I mean, ako din eh. Back then, <laughs> like, I didn't care na if Duterte got presidency. But then, as soon as I got news of, like, the first EJK, I thought, like, oh my God. I thought he was, like, joking about what he said yeah. in the campaign. Because usually, ganun naman politicians, mm-hmm. sabi-sabi, tapos pagtating sa presidency, wala nangyari. Like, oh my God, he actually did that. So, As soon as that happened, parang sobrang taot na. And then as incident happened near my school, and then literal na parang dun yung moment na parang I slowly started to awaken from being politically ignorant. Because for me, because mindset ko that is, if it's not happening to me, like why should I yeah. care? Because diba? yeah, I'm yeah. far away from that scenario. Pero it's in that na we should actually take the opportunity to just know more so we can educate the people around us. Diba? And how about Mr. Bryle and Miss Alexa? Um, for me, I've just... Um, I grew up na, um, with my parents um, supporting, you know, Marcos. And, but then, I don't know, maybe it's my personality. <laughs> You know, I don't really agree with everything naman that they say. I mean, most naman, most okay. kids. And of course, I have my um, classmates then before. And um, my classmates in high school, kasi, um, there were, uh, there was one who was like defending Marcos talaga. Like, bana. And um, I would see his point, but at the same time, I would see others' points then. Na, so of course, I would lean more to the I don't know, call me, uh, ano, pero I care about life talaga eh. Like, ano pa lang, no, may sakit pa lang or something yung tao, parang maawa na ako agad. Something like that. Parang, I'm that kind of person. So, to the point na killings happening, parang for me, it's not really, for me, I already think it's bad na if there's something like that, parang I'm against it na. Um, life matters for me eh. So, when, when I see, um, Lalo na, um, if you um, try to learn more about it, corruption. Um, but I don't try to defend whatever they've done. I, I, I believe naman that they've done something good um, in their own way. If, the, the way they see it. Siguro when he was like a congressman or whatever, you know, infrastructure, whatever. Pero like, later on, I guess, you know, we have to talk about it more. Eh? Like, what happened before. And... I, I don't I don't wanna um siguro I don't want to um but in general I just care about life. That's it. And I, I, I was just against my parents talaga that time. Na parang when they were before it eh. And pag nag away kami, it's like okay, rebel din lang. <laughs> rebel din or something. Yeah, yeah. Ganun talaga yan. <laughs> Most, ganun din ako usually sa friends ko. 
I napansin ko ako after some time I grew like in the only political climate I understood that there are these hard things. But in friends, I don't think I can at all. Parang high school, college now, or about to graduate, and they're still the same person. I yeah. who's ano kung same personality do I think? It's the influence of friends, din kasi. Yeah. It's it's like, exactly. Influence of friends. It's the influence yeah. of friends, exactly. Tapos sila, yung ano pa sila, yung mga cheekster, cheeks, yung mga ganun, yung mga, <laughs> mga <laughs> sexist <laughs> guys. Cheekster. Ang tagal na tagal. Ang tagal na tagal. Cheekster. Pero ganun sila, tapos ako parang, dude, like, ano yung taon na? Di ba? Hindi like na to high school, man. Yeah. Di ba? It's not high school anymore. Yung like, nag-girl girl yung... Walang uh, character development. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walang character development. Okay, last but not the least, Miss Alexa. So, you? yeah, I'm very different because even a picture of my parents are hanging in the Edza Revolution. They were there and they fought for, fought from that uh, dictator. So, talagang lumaki rin kami na we really don't support Marcos. We know what he did. Kahit na parang sobrang hugas kamay na lang sila and tago sa lahat. Siyempre, how would you achieve that kind of uh, things kung hindi ka nagtagal doon and just kept all the, all that power to yourself? Tsaka nang utang ka ng marami just for us to pay for that. So that's yeah. just plain wrong. And for me, hindi dapat... Um, parang pinagpupugay pa rin siya hanggang ngayon na parang Mark that Marcos is a forgotten hero no we never forget what he did yeah. the lives we lost yes yeah. it's true i can only imagine living up those times no where they're like like ngayon you could be a protester tapos sure there's still danger to it you know, pero like generally you're not that like quite safe, but you're you have a lot of protection mm-hmm. around you. Better back than better. It's just. Sabi ka lang. Ubat pa lang ako na kabukas. Yung freedom to express your own. Yeah, I can't live like that. To be honest. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I, I had this luck of having a teacher in grade school. Ako no hekasi hekasi. What's the history? Whatever. What the history? Something like that. Teacher ko, and she was actually a protester back then. That's your husband, yeah. Is it some of the sundalo and like blocking from protesters, which is like a really cute love story. If you kind of play this on pelikula, to be honest, like the yeah. asawa ko yung hindi kano nakaharap sa akin ni Baril ng Edsa People Power kano. Pero <laughs> okay, dude, it's a weird thing. Pero oh, parang dun after yung parang nagmeet sa tapos yung husband niya still adamant about yung si Marcos pero after some time parang na break niya yung facade niya tas yung parang nasa ilang politically woke yeah. Okay. Anyways, we'll aside from that, last question. Last question is never have I ever encouraged my friends to get registered since malapit na ang registry. I have, I have, and I have. Wow. All right, all right. Okay, let's start off with Miss Alexa this time around. Miss Alexa. <laughs> so, syempre, ina-encourage ko sila, lalo na ina pressure rin ako nung pamangkin ko, who is just like 17 years old, crying to me and saying, I can't nice. register, so... Please uh, encourage your you. friends to <laughs> encourage your friends to <laughs> register. Maybe yeah, of course, Auntie will do that. So, lalo na ngayon with, di ba, um, your vote can really be the tiebreaker. Your vote is so important. So, talagang kailangan natin mag-engganyo ng tao na magpa-registro na kasi um, all votes matter. La- so cliche but so true and relevant now, lalo na may mga gustong tumakbo na naman, di ba? So, we have to fight them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kinagawa natin Voldemort na yun. Kinagawa natin sa akin. He cannot be named. He cannot be named, no? Di ba? Siya ulit. Nagigan na ko sino yun. Kinagawa natin siya, di ba? Mura na mura. Pero nang ginagawa, ha? Nagigan lang siya. Kung hindi siya yung boto, ha? Okay, uh, Miss Elaine, how about you? 
Um, actually, sa akin, I don't need... Hindi ko parang sa group of friends ko, parang hindi ko sila kailangan paalahanan. Kasi, nung nagtanong ako, registered na ba kayo? Tapos sabi nila, oo. Tapos sabi ko, wala, ako hindi pa. Kasi, ano pala, magpapa-register pala sa 24. And then they're like, hindi ka pa-registered. Wala pa ito matapos, pinapagalitan pala na ako. So, I'm quite... Um, <sighs> It's quite pleasant that I have a group of friends na gano'n. Pero yung siguro yung kinonvince ko is my older sister and yung uh, parents ko. Kasi sa parents ko, they skip an election. And when you skip an election, I think you can't vote. Or something like that. Parang basta nawala sila sa rehistro. So, ako, buong family ko, as well as my dita and my cousin, magpapa-register kami lahat sa 24. So, dun siguro yung napunta yung influence ko. Not on my friends, but on my family. Family, family ko din actually, same thing. Uh, siya sabihin na, mag, mag, actually, nung sen- senatorial elections pa lang, uh, si Chel Jok, no, mag, 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 register ka na, tapos nak- nak- nakalimutan ko yung passing registration, regret na ganun sila, tama, hindi ka po boto, no, kaya, tapos yeah. nakalimutan ko yung, B, yung bilangan ng boto. Di ba may part ng time na? Yeah. Biglang nawala yung count biglaan kasi nagka-dow yeah. problema yung system. Tapos bilang nakita mo, yung mga Korean ayaw mo coach. nasa taas, parang, like lang, oh, isang boom. kayo kating. From the so, bottom to the diba? top real quick. From the bottom to the top real quick. quick. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> ano yan, nakakawalang gana. Eh, so, so special. <laughs> What's happening? Matinding plot twist. Nakakaloka. Agisin mo na lang, boom, panalo na. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Parang, I remember that time, actually. Around, it's around 6 a.m., I think. And then, yeah, uh, super, super early. Agisin namin, uy, ba't nasa taas na siya? <laughs> Gulat na lang, gano'n. No, parang, 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 oh my God, sana bumoto ako yun yung time na na-realize. Ko. Tapos, thank God, this Tuesday, kahit, you know, ako kasi may risk kasi sa voting ngayon, it's like, syempre COVID and all that. Yeah. Ang dami, yeah. Mas ang haba ng pila and all that. So, mas ang last exposure mo. I'm like, I'm willing to take the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, I might get it. I'm not even vaccinated yet. <laughs> Pero, at least I get the chance to vote, <laughs> diba? I got, I'm hoping, crossing fingers, diba? I won't get it, diba? Like, I'm going to be safe. I'm double mask everything. Pero, you know, I'm willing to risk that much para hopefully we can switch the status quo, diba? Yeah. Okay, now, last but not the least, Mr. Bryle. Actually, um, I just recently registered for um, elections. And the only reason why I was encouraging kasi... Gusto ko nang kasama. <laughs> the line was super okay, hassle. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. 5 a.m. You have to line up at 5 a.m. That's the... um You have to line up at 5 a.m. Up to like 8 a.m. Then that's the only time you're gonna get a stub. So your stub is like your appointment. In our city, yeah. So, I, wala akong kasama nun. Kasi, pero I was encouraging people. Pero they registered na. Or may pasok. Or may online class. So, syempre, I was like, okay, I'll go ahead. So... Ayun, 5 a.m. up to like 8 a.m. Uh, uh, we lined up outside the mall. So, parang ano eh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware. Logging system ng UV eh. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you have geez. to, ano, again, eh. you have to, you have to line up talaga early just to get an appointment as stop. So, Patay pa mga ilaw, okay. nandun ka na. Yeah. <laughs> Nakakatakot pa yung COVID, di ba? You're thinking, shit, COVID, daming, daming tao, crowded. Pero, there's ano naman, may social distancing. It's just really, you know, Um, toughness talaga na oh, you have to wait in line you have to stand up lang of course you wouldn't want to like sit down touch anything naman especially during this ano, especially it's hot pa because you're wearing a face mask face shield mm. so mas mainit pero awesome. you know sometimes it, it has to be that way na lang talaga I mean if you want to get registered then you have to you have to um, go through it so that's what we I was thinking na lang. So, like yeah. part, it's part of our punishment Uh, consequence negative. Hindi siya ako nag-register dati. Nung wala pang COVID, no? Oh, Back then, timing, was, uh, easy, easy. Oh, it's hassle. Yeah, exactly. Super hassle. Tapos, I mean, tas yung, sa amin din kasi yung voting sa amin, kahit natapos mo na yung online, na puno mo yeah, natin form, um, parang, yung dad ko punta yata kahapon, tapos sinabihan siya ng guard, sinabihan siya namin sa guard, ay, ito na po yung paper ko. Uh, puno na po, puno na lang po siya ako punta. Kasi yes. doon po pa rin. Eh, hindi po po doon yung pila ng mga wala pang form. Ay, hindi, doon po po rin kayo. Yeah, lahat. Actually, lahat ata may pagkakang form eh. Right? Diba? Parang, ang, 
Ano yung sense sa word? Na, I don't Kung get it. Tao, parang ganun yung vibe na nakuha ko. Mas mahirap, pinapahirapan nila bumoto yung tao. Yeah. Pero at the same time, yeah. it, That's why I think people see it as, ano eh, parang hassle. Huwag na, mag, huwag na magparegister kasi hassle. Ganun yeah. yung yun yung secret. Tapos add pa yung COVID thing which just seals it. Diba? Wala na. Mm-hmm. Pero, now let's move on to the main discussion, rather. So, Laraman Bai, we believe that the vote is important, right? For all our own reasons. Pero, what is the importance of your vote? Okay. How important is that vote? Is it just a drop in the bucket or is it a spark to start the fire in the Philippines? Okay, I see Miss a couple nods from Miss Elaine. Miss Elaine, what's your thoughts on this? Oh, for me, guess it. As cliche as it might sound, no? Dr. Isedis, sabi niya nga, the youth is the future of the country. And pa, ulit, ulit natin yung narinig like, since elementary, since high school, and up to this ano, life and works of Rizal sa college. No? Pa, ulit natin yung narinig. Like, but the question is, do you understand it? Naintindihan mo ba yung scope? What do you mean by future? Ano ba yung future? Does future mean 10 years from now, 5 years from now? But it's not. Future is today. We have to understand that the idea of future and present, hindi sila independent from each other, but it's connected and it's united. It's like, ano lang eh, when you're having an exam, no? You're studying today and prelims ko nga bukas. You know? When you study today, expect that you'll have good grades tomorrow. And tomorrow is the future. So whatever you do today, kung nag-aral ka o hindi, will affect the future. So yun yung importance ng vote natin on the May 2022 elections. No? Whoever we vote for on that specific election will not only determine the fil- yung kalagayan ng Philippines on the next six years, but it will determine yung ano eh, kung what change will it bring in. Kasi hindi lang naman for six, good for six years dapat yung projects and other implementations ng specific government then dun mo makita dapat um, uh, maayos pa yung mga maayos ba yung mga parang mali sa Pilipinas. Yeah. So yun yung importance. To. Ganun kabigat. Hindi lang siya, it's not just a mere phrase na ikaw yung future. So what will ikaw yung future? Diba? What will you do? What do you, what future do you want for your country? It's the future is in our hands, no? I say what we do today might change tomorrow for all we know. Okay, uh, Mr. or rather, Miss Alexa. Okay, hello, Char. So, the hot of God. Because I'm asa ako si Mr. Mom Sibrel. So, we go asses. Ayo, Char. Tap. So, um, importance of your vote. So, ayun nga. Hey, kasi CB ka pa nga noon sa amin. Or, ang tanda, CB ka. CB ka, hey, kasi noon. <laughs> so, yung CB ka namin, sabi, naalala ko pa si Sir Fabian. Sabi niya, in-explain niya kung ano ang democracy. Parang, a government for the people, by the people. Blah, blah, blah. From the people. So, big sabihin talagang we will make the change in our country. Tayo talaga, um, nasa kamay talaga natin ng Pilipinas. So, sa kamay natin, nasa kamay natin to with the right of suffrage. So, sa pagboboto natin, di ba, nandun yung uh, nasa sa atin kung ano yung magiging, tulad ng sabi ni Maring Elaine, uh, Elena, ano, nasa sa atin ang mangyayari sa mga sisulit na taon para sa Pilipinas, kita naman natin, parang nadala tayo noon sa mag, mag-siski siya, mag-jejetski siya, papunta sa China, at lalagay yung <laughs> matawa sa Pilipinas. Nadala, nadala ang mga tao noon sa ganon kasi nakita nilang matapang siya. Pero hindi pala, di ba? So, dapat ngayon makakita tayo na lagi nating tingnan yung mga layunin nila, mga talagang nilalaban nila na ever since talaga nilalaban nila. Tsaka yung maganda yung yes, yes, may consistency. Tapos, maganda yung pinopost nung isang 
hindi ko alam kung anong platform, pero nilalabas nila kung anong bills yung mga ina ng mga senators natin noon. Like, in ba nila yung divorce, in ba nila yung abortion, anong, mm-hmm. anong stand na sa death penalty. Okay. So, those things are so important. So, with your vote, we can actually have someone who cares about the Filipino people. Hindi lang yung nakaligo ka na ba sa dagat ng basura. <laughs> Diba? <laughs> Ay, naalala ko pa rin yun. Paborito ko yun. Oh my God, so brown <laughs> catchy yung <laughs> tingle na yun. Oh my God. Grabe <laughs> yun. Dito na sinabi pa lang yung line. Kumakanta na yung uta ko. O diba? Nangyayapang mga tayo eh. Ilang, ilang commercial yan. Ilang best yata na rin na nakita yung commercial yun. Eh. I think every yun. other ad break, diba? Oh my God. Oh! nakakatirit uh, once you <laughs> parang nakikringe ka at your past self diba uh, nakikatirit <laughs> okay anyways uh, thank you so much Miss Alexa up next Mr. Brio <laughs> um actually I agree with the both of them talaga so I'm just gonna add to what they're saying so our vote is what's the importance of our vote our vote is our right naman talaga like I've realized it now so I skipped one election So I I realize it now that you know whatever we do or who we vote for um it will I know every like uh, yung vote natin yung voice natin it will make an impact eh. diba so um di naman pwede puro yung know, salita lang tayo pag argument but then we're not gonna vote naman diba so yeah. um like in exams diba you don't know you won't know naman talaga eh. malay mo yung one yung one point na yon passing passing pang yeah. inyong pang passing yeah. Yeah. so it's just, it's as big as that na right now we don't see it pero i think kasi you know um this pandemic i i just i realized this pandemic that we deserve more than that that's why um yung vote ko it's going to be super important and ako, alam ko naman impossible naman na i'm the only one who realized that this pandemic diba na I'm for, for sure there like like a lot of unregistered voters back then, and then once the pandemic came, they realized that they na oh, um, this is not what we deserve, diba? We deserve more. Imagine more. Um, two countries left in the whole world, ni pa face to face classes, something like that. So it's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yun nga. So parang wow. Um, and y- impossible na ako lang in this in the Philippines na nakarealize so nung online class. Diba? Yeah. So, yung vote, for sure, I'm not the only one who realized it. Ah, uh, people realized it also. And they registered na rin. So, um, that that can make, a, that's an important factor talaga to get over the line. Kasi, yung nga iniisip ko eh, one point make, makes a big difference talaga. One vote. Who knows, diba? Goes down to the wire. Diba? So, ayun. Yeah. Oh my God. Yung face-to-face talaga just... <laughs> Oh my God. Ako, ako na experience ko lang is just literally three fourth of my college. That's that rest online. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Good. Online. First year, second year, <laughs> third year, no, fourth year. No, isyo lang pagtrabaho ko parin yata. <laughs> Di parin face to face. Oh my God. Online parin. Paano ka gagawin yon? Oh my God. Di ba? Na imagine yeah. mo yung parang just this one person. Di ba? Yar Baltimore parin. Just this one person. And the like, cascade and now it's affecting generations of possibly yeah. employees um the future economy just from this one person just forgetting to close the borders at this point in time now we're here the balance just makes you realize that them it's not just feeling of guilt deep inside all right now, next question since you know we've talked about how important the vote is And of course, you know how I think mostly the youth is definitely the future. Why do you registering? Because it's such a it's such a trend that every time we elections, it's just you see lots of ads or let's say a Facebook post uh, urging the youth because it's the youth in lowest. What do you guys think about yeah. that? Okay, let's start off this time with Mister. Brio, <laughs> Mr. Brio. Okay, Mr. Brio. I'll base it on, ano, um, I'll base it on, from what I experienced before. 
well, like me as um uh because I failed to register. So um that that was me before before. So it's like um siguro during the time that it was presidential elections around 2017 or eight, 2018 or 2016, 2016, around yeah, that. Yeah. So 2016. Um but around the first time that I was I was allowed to vote now, I was like around 18 years old. Right? So um during that time I just entered UE. So um my mind was I was like a selfish um I was a selfish um young person who just wanted you know to uh, no, accomplish what I wanted in life. Like, oh I'm starting a new life here in UE. Right? I got a study, gotta do stuff. Diba? Parang, and dun lang yung, dun lang nag-revolve. Super, um, wala lang talaga akong care. So, I was selfish. And I didn't know na, um, in the long run, it would have, it would affect me pala. Diba? It would affect us pala. So, I, yung, yun yung wake up call for me to register. It's like, now, na I'm experiencing it. Pero back then, I was just like, selfish. Like, um, politics, uh, Bahala na, diba? Like I wanna, like my mind wasn't on it. Like my mind wasn't there. My mind wasn't. Um, like I also f- didn't feel like, ah, you know, parang yung yung ka- yung yung vote ko it wouldn't count naman eh. Wouldn't wouldn't be a big um thing. Eh. Pero I've learned a lot over the years. Um, so siguro maturity na rin. maturity, and then um realizing it. But it's just sad na. Um, we had to experience this, like whatever we're experiencing, you know, for us to realize. And I think um, the youth needs um, information. Like they need to be aware. They need um, they need to be aware that the vote nila it, it really counts, really matters. Especially mm-hmm. um, kids nowadays, they're more vocal. They're more. Um, they think more. I know. They think better, diba? <laughs> Let's say, mas maraming potential sila. <laughs> Pero yeah, that's the way, that's the way it is now talaga. Like, kids are the youth talaga. Um, yeah. You have to give it to them. Some of them are, they're, they're like really smart. Eh? They're really more vocal. Siguro they, they care more about our country. So that's one more thing, you know, um, we need more nationalism or yung patriotism natin. Like, um, yung how much we care about the Philippines. Because um, the way I see it, like, uh, not really many, you know, um, care about the Philippines. And yung, um, some of our citizens, diba, we, don't, we don't follow rules. Din, eh. So maybe we have to start within ourselves. Then nah, We have to start following rules. As simple as throwing your tra- trash sa loob ng ano, hindi natin magawa, diba? So, <laughs> yun lang. For me, like, information and um, kid, the youth really needs information. It's, yeah, that's true. Right. Pero fair feeling ko naman nowadays, right? Yung youth ngayon, yung, parang mag-iwag sabihin, yung youth ngayon, parang hindi ako included na, di ba? Kasi matanda na ako. <laughs> yung youth ngayon, hindi ka naman, they're more educated dahil they were born na kung saan technology. developed na ang internet technology, di ba? Yeah. Iba nga may ilang thousands of followers like yeah, making a really yeah. funny tweet. Yeah. Big platform in social media. Diba? Yeah, diba? exactly. And the li- you can ease, you can have a platform just by di ka maging Twitter Influencer. celebrity agad-agad. Influencer, right? Just a few words, diba? Kind of, like, the youth these days can definitely be a big influence and they should ju- they just need to get educated more on the vote and such better feeling than a month uh, there is a change man, coming somewhere in the distance so, all right now miss alexa hello 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 so um so with my experience with my uh, nieces and nephews, like totoo nga, sobrang talino nila. Like I, I, I can't explain. Um, what's the term? Patriarchism, whatever. And 
all those things, federalismo and whatever, they can explain it to me by looking at me in the eye, not looking at their phone, just looking at me straight. And this is what it is. This is what's happening. Blah, 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 blah. And they know a lot. But the problem is they're too young. Yeah. Even if they're so vocal, they're so young. The other thing is, besides that, some would say that some of our people are broken. Like, they've lost um, hope for some because sa sobrang lubog na natin sa utang, sa sobrang... And you can see potential, actually nice potential um, candidates for people to run our country. So they're like, what's the point? If I register uh, and I vote this, like, they won't make the change. They won't make the difference I want them to make. But, yeah. And the other thing is the system is hard. <laughs> the system is hard, especially now. Like, yeah. it's, a, it's the pandemic and then the lines are long. But you want to to maintain that social distancing, but then mm. someone might stand in your line and then like, no, I was here. So the lines are long. You have to go in so early. So tama yung kanina. Kala mo, nasa UI pa rin ako na parang, oh, maka-chance lag lang ako. Nako naman. <laughs> maka-chance <do>. lang tayo. <laughs> so siguro yung hassle nga, totoo yun. Ang hirap ng hassle and the chance to contact that virus na mas malala na ngayon. So, I guess, so kaya nga, di ba, merong um, petition para ipa-extend, yeah. actually. So, <laughs> so, check the link below. Charat. <laughs> check. <laughs> check the link below na lang. Okay, petition naman dyan. Charing. Ayan. <laughs> Ayun, kailangan, tingin ko nga, kailangan ni extend yung yeah. voters yeah kasi it's i mean kasi diba nowadays we just need to na may ang daming call to extend voters registration pero ayo para ang bigas ng ulo ng isang tao doon that's what I being kasi na all the more so all the more talaga all the more talaga sa kanya tapos ang galit pa sila but kaya na sa labas ang ginagawa niyo yeah. ay sa labas kaya kami kumain sa labas, talagang kakatapos na kami bumot, mag-register, mga kaya mga tao. We're trying to register, we're trying to do our best to change this country, mas yeah. ganito kayo. Suntu ka na lang, di ba? Parang yun yung mga hamon sa Facebook. Diba? Suntu ka na lang, ano, nika? Kita-kita sa ano? Tika, suntu. Ganun, di ba? So, nakakatawa yung sinahe dahil, sa tingin mo, nag-joke pa sila. Joke time ba to? Joke time pa yung buhay namin, di ba? Pero, we just need to find a way to just Stay strong, stay diligent, and just. Minsan yah, ug mo ayon mo na paking ganon. Pero at the same time, they still say some important things. Right. Anyway, so last but not the least, Miss Elaine. I have to agree with Miss Alex, you know, na yun yah sinabi niya. Like he sama, she sama said na the youth is losing hope. Ganon. Because from based from my experience, uh, nasasabi ko to kasi may mga kalalawang ganon. Na they dra, they would rather study abroad. So, tatanungin ko, bakit? Ganun. Kasi wala nang pag-asa yung Pilipinas. Forever na mahirap yan. Ganun. Or, hindi na mag improve yung Pilipinas. Kasi ganyan yun. So, I think that's a really big factor. No? Yung thinking ng tao na yun. Na wala nang pag-asa. So, bakit ako mag-register? And usually, yung mga ganong tao is, yun nga, youth. Kasi they have, they still have lots of fears and ano eh, to pursue some a career outside the Philippines. Eh. Kaya youth yung usually nawawala na ng pag-asa kasi. Ngayon pa lang nakikita nila na parang ano, parang forever ng ganito yung Pilipinas. Ganun. Takot sila. So, sabi na, ba't pa mag- ba't pa mag-register if ngayon pa lang wala nang wala nang uh, improvements. Pero that's one thing na is actually wrong sa mindset nila. Dapat sabihin nila, ngayon pa lang ganito to, what can I do para hindi na maging ganun? Since there are still a lot more years na pwede akong bumoto, a lot more terms na pwede akong bumoto, what can my vote do? Since especially I'm young, no? 
madami akong maabutan na elections eh. What can that vote do to change the ano, the country? Yeah, exactly. And then, I mean, we can't hide the fact that there is definitely we call this better opportunities in some countries. Some professions get paid way more than other countries. Some must guide can like a simple job will they won't let you live yeah. comfortably there it's way better than what it is here and feeling that in must may rem- there's more respect in the industries abroad mm. but at the same time you can't just shake the feeling of that i need to be here because i need to help my country get out of this diba. i want to be part of the names that in the future my mom's history books the great uh, economic re- resurgence of the <laughs> Philippines, the South, the, 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 the tiger of Southeast Asia. So we were such an economic household yeah. back then. We were growing. We were we were like a toddler, slowly growing into our boots. Get on. Tapos biglang naghit ay nang ganon. Then we hit a low, and then we're still going. Then we went lower. Your history. Then, then we went lower. Tamas in Israel, we just went lower. Started digging our own graves in our gotcha. in our own country. Pero for me, I can't shake the fact that I wanna work in the Philippines. I wanna live in the Philippines, even though it may seem hard, because I want to help my country get out of this. I want to be part of the future workforce. Because for me personally, I can start see that I can see the changes. I mean. Social media, right? We're more woke now. Tayo, um, films these days, de ba? The mga topics are yeah. less so, de ba? By bus, by bus time. When some of them say they they manage to mix like a political topic well into an action movie, very John Wick, bang bang bang, boom boom. Good. <laughs> the sound effects, but boom boom bang. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Next question. Next question. Since so, you know the youth. Is the power and everything? Do you guys think that the power of the youth is ineffective nowadays? Right? It's ineffective. Do you guys think of that? Ba, 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 ba. Copyrighted. All right. Let's start off with Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown looks like he has a definite answer. Um. No. Because I think we've mentioned it, Kanina, the platform that the youth hold right now. Parang. Um, we we have the we have the platform ready. We have social media. We have the voice. So I think if we use it properly, especially now that you know, um, there are a lot of us who are educated enough. So if you can just spread the word, about you have the platform already. So that in itself, it's it's power, ne? That that's that's a, that's power already. So if we use it wisely, lang, it's a responsibility that. The youth hold. So if we can use it wisely, then um, there's hope for everyone, especially our country. So it's just as simple as that for me. Information is the key to unlocking the hearts and minds of the ignorant. Very true words. Very true words. Okay. Uh, Miss Alexa, hello, Lit. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ay na ko, on joke on joke na. Charot. <laughs> ayun, ayun nga. So um just like my boss, the power of the youth is loud. It's so loud because my boss, 'di ba? Maingay siya, char. <laughs> so um he's loud and he speaks loudly. And right, he encouraged uh the Filipinos to be loud. So the power of the youth is loud, and because they are loud, um, what do you call this? Um, Harry Roque would always explain the reasons. Um, w- like for example, inaano nila si si Voldemort na. Bakit ano? Bakit um? Bakit nagsasayta siya ng ganyan? Binabasus niya ang kababaihan. Ito na naman si Harry Roque na hindi hindi po ganon ng ati presidente. So why would why would he need to explain if um if there wasn't so much power in the youth the youth has so much potential the youth is has so much platforms nasa discord sila nasa viber sila yeah. nasa twitter sila yeah, sobra ingay nila sa twitter yeah. yes lahat ng nabuo social media um nandiyan sila 
and they're there. Um, I wouldn't say they are ineffective because something they're doing something that makes the that triggers the malakanyang. Yeah, I agree with the sentiments and everything. True. Okay, now let's move on to Miss Elaine. Miss Elaine. Um, I think for me, no, the the vote, the youth's vote is not inefficient. Hindi siya inefficient ayon. Kasi as I as we've said nga kanina, we have and as what uh Sir Bell and Miss Alexa said, na napalaki ng platform ng 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 youth as in sa bawat social media or whatever app that you na merong connection that can connect people even in dating apps no and then yung mga youth and you will see their description on their dating profiles na if you uh, if you support like this do not talk to me do not swipe right you know? as in even in dating apps they will use that platform to advocate and to ano uh, influence people na wag kayo wag kayo wag niyo suportahan yan kasi ganyan yan ganyan. kahit sa mga ganong apps so The thing is, the youth has that power ngayon, especially with the ano yun, technological revolution that we're having. Yung mga youth team experts dyan, bawat kalikot. Isang click ni- lang nila, they can reach thousands of people. So their influence in media and in community in general is very big and they have that uh, potential to Uh, advertise or to uh, give information to people na ginagamit lang rin yung social media to get information. Pero there, uh, but there are risks, no? Kasi not everything on media is true and you still have to do your information. But when seeing that certain post, kumari ganto, ganto yun. When you see that post, you will do now your own research. Totoo ba yan? And then with that, you will have your knowledge ano, magigain ka pa ng more knowledge and you will start um, uh, researching and uh, doing things on your own and having an understanding of your own. So I, yeah, I think only downside woman of the youth these days is just malakas ang witch, witch hunting ba yung tawag Witch hunting is that term? Or mobbing? Mobbing ba yung term, no? Like, may, yeah. may, making viral lang yung isang thing lahat gusto yeah, makisali. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people that. Witch hunting ba? Mob hunting. Mob hunting. Bandwagoning, sige lang yun, bandwagon. Like, ang lakas ng bandwagon, no? Yung isang experience ko is like, color it cosmetics, yung hashtag boycott color it cosmetics. Yung kala ko, parang, ano nangyari dito? But, ang lakas sa Twitter, ano ba yung tao na to? May ginawang masama? Tapos pagtingin ko, ah, okay. It took me like, a couple of days in order for me to get properly informed about what's behind the hashtag. As, like, ayun, parang, uh, ang lakas ng bandwagoning and yeah. if you just do one wrong thing on Twitter, Facebook, Cancel. or anywhere, Cancel. 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 Cancel culture, yeah. down the drain you go. Diba? Tapos pag-cancel ka na, ang hirap, ang hirap ng umangon. Yeah, ang hirap i-claim. Unless you like, you become the miracle or something. I don't know. Okay, now, next question, next and last question, sadly. What do you ca- what do you think is deficient and lacking in the youth today? We've talked about all the benefits in the world that they have for them. You know, social media, they're so powerful. They can touch the hearts of everyone via Twitter. They can have a platform. They, they can become TikTok stars. I don't know. But what do you think is lacking and deficient? What do you think? From binabasi ko na naman sa mga pamangkin ko. Because they know so much. So much information is thrown at them. And they analyze even the littlest things. Para what's lacking in them is hope. Yun talaga eh. Parang, oh, yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. What's lacking in them is hope. Parang, oh, dahil ginawa nila to, they're, They're practicing patriarchism. They did this. Oh, they're supporting federalism. And that all seems so, so bad for them. And because they support, they're, they're seen to 
approve um, that penalty. They seem to approve this one and that one. And sa andaming rumors at sobrang laganap ng cancel culture. So because of that, like susukuan agad nila at the first mistake. So which is very not naman very wrong pero parang sana um you look at other things as well. Yes, yes, yon. <laughs> we can see it. <laughs> um dapat they should also look at the bright side like um they should always have hope dahil diba sila nga ang pag-asa ng bayan so they themselves could not lose hope in the philippines like go i'll go to abroad i'll work in the us because of this this i'll work in switzerland because blah 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 so i know other countries are so enticing right now like going to other countries it's so nice but wouldn't it be nice to to still be with the philippines um every step of the way diba have hope in that alam natin ang galing yung lumaban sobrang lakas ng laban nyo sa bawat platform ang binibigay sa inyo ng internet but don't forget na when you fight you should also have hope for peace oh, yes wow <laughs> <The> words <laughs> this you go for president yes. Yes. Sure. number 23 sa balota man <laughs> 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 kakaloka that's true it's very inspiring words yeah I mean, tama nga they i think then it's possible na sa sobrang daming They get flooded with so much information that they get depressed. No, I say it's just yeah. Too, having too much info, and then look, since nowadays a lot of things are just not necessarily positive. It's just so hard to believe or to have hope in something when it just looks so wrong from the beginning. Even though you do your research, kahit ano gawin mo, mali pa rin parang ganon. Ang hirap magkaroon ng hope, pero they need to believe in the future at least, right? Okay, now. Mr. Brile. I was just going to echo Alexa. Kuha niya eh. Really the hope eh. And then yung, yung belief ng youth na, na they're powerful. Kasi I think kulang eh. Especially um, if you know that actually so many um, young uh, people they have, have potential. They have um, they have they have what it takes talaga. You know pero lahat yan kasi um, hindi na na unlock if no one believes in them so yung yung simple ano lang yung belief lang and hope na um, that they need to to realize then if they realize it then everything will be good na everything's you know they have the power they, they know that they have the power to change um, or to make an outcome so For me, I think they just really need um, more information. That's why mga gantong um, stuff na ginagawa ng DSC, it's like awareness, you know? Like, the more that you see um, the youth has to register, you know, the youth needs to vote, diba? the more that they see that, the more, that, the, the more na they believe na, oh, I can make a difference. And I think that's what's lacking, eh. Yung information back then, wala masyadong Um, nagpo-push sa mga bata eh. like we all know na we're allowed to vote by 18 but no one's pushing us no one believes in us diba? so they need that certain um, something they need something that will unite everyone the youth talaga because they have everything so they have the platform it's just that con- kulang na lang yung konting push eh. that's, that's what's yeah. lacking eh. yung, they just need a little push from, from people they have a certain part or a big part In, in the outcome of our country. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> also inspiring words. No? Boto na po kayo sa balota, number 36, Mr. Brian. Salamat. <laughs> Very true, yeah. It's just, I think it really just comes down to believing. Since, you know, the internet, you get, aside, di ba, back then, wala pang internet nun eh. No? <laughs> Ang oldie pa king. Wala pang internet nung panahon ko. <laughs> back then, you'd only get 
exposed to you know, sa teacher mo, sa parents mo, sa friends mo. Ngayon, you could get exposed to some guy from this country, you know, whatever, a celebrity on Twitter. Andaling na makakuha ng information. You can just search for a keyword and you can find everything about it. Yeah, I'm happy there's a new awakening no, about the identity of people, who they really want to be in the future. About that. At the same time, they should also use their resources to just believe, get their own sets of beliefs, no? not just copying from people. Let them truly find out who they are and what they truly believe in for themselves. Last but not the least, Miss Elaine. Hi. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I agree with, I don't know, with what Miss Alexa and Miss uh, Sir Brel said. Uh, yung na kulang talaga sa youth ngayon is hope. Kasi as you said, na, they're loaded with so much information. They know so much about something at a very young age. And sometimes they're, hindi pa sila, like their mind is not ready for that kind of, uh, that kind of reality. Na ganong age mulat na sila. Like, so, parang when you have that information, that amount of information, tendency is nalulunod ka. Nalulunod. Especially when it is negative. Ayun na, when, just like in the Philippines, problem, daming negative things about government and everything else. So, nalulunod. And to the point na parang isipin na na na, may, meron pa bang chance na maayos to? And they'll think na, Mula na siguro. So, yun talaga. Nagla-lack yung hope. And aside from that, uh, I think they're also lacking sa pag-exercise nung, uh, nung mga uh, opinions and advocacy sila and yung mga pananaw nila na lack sila doon. Kasi as you said na uh, low count yung youth no? sa vote registration. So, they ha- need to be nudged on the elbow, parang kailangan mo siyang kalabitin na, uy, mag-register ka. Kasi kahit na sobrang dami mong pinapost sa Twitter, kahit sobrang dami mong pinapost sa Facebook about this, about that, your opinion, it won't matter if you don't vote. I mean, it would matter kasi it would influence, pero uh, what if ganun din yung ginawa ng iba na hindi ka rin, hindi rin sila nag-register, ganun. So, anong purpose nung pagsabi mo na kung ikaw wala kang action na exercise your right of hope. So I think they, there are two things. Lack, they're lacking sa hope and sa pag-exercise nung um, right nila to vote. Yeah, awesome words. Awesome. Epic words from Miss Elaine <laughs> herself. Because it's definitely like everything is definitely up to the youth right now. I mean, for us, for what? Yeah. Third year, fourth year college students. Sure, we have the chance to vote for the next future generations. But I think it's time to start educating the younger ones that uh, they know what to do and they know their importance. They're not just kids. They're not just teens studying, you know, doing projects. They're not just that. They are quite literally the future of their generation. And I expect or definitely know that some of them will be leaders in the future. Because seeing how the climate is, seeing how, how much access they have to everything, they're geared. They're well-equipped to be the future of the country and more. But we're coming now near to the end of this episode of the DSC podcast. And of course, before we all leave and go and spread the good word of voting is important and the youth is the future, do you have any final words or maybe you want to give a shout out to someone? You know, you shout, plug your pop, plug your sock meds, all that stuff, right? Do you guys have any final words? Sigur, I'll start na lang. So. There you go. Ayan. As pressuring as it might sound, pero napakabigat ng role ng youth. Sobrang bigat because you hold the entire future of the country on your shoulders. So, sa ngayon, um, you, the youth might not uh, understand it fully. Pero yun lang yung masasabi ko na napakabigat. So, that vote na you think is just one, napakabigat ng value mo. Especially, not just to the country, but also to your um, fellow countrymen. So you have to register. Okay? <laughs> register and vote wisely. Please register. <laughs> and ano ba ba? Uh, can I do a shout out? To my, sure, sure. Go ahead, go ahead. I said, I request my classmates. Ko, so shout out to DMD D11E. Full support sila. And they will be watching this. Uh, or, um, they will be watching this podcast. <laughs> yeah. 
And hello. <laughs> Spread the good word of the PSC yeah. podcast. And yeah. voting. <laughs> right. Up next. <laughs> I just want to say uh, final words. I want to um, final words. I just want to tell everyone um, watching to if you're not registered, register. Because like what Elaine said, yeah, you, you have a big role in this um, elect in this coming election. So uh, I hope we don't um, reach, you know, we don't have to um, to feel um, sana hindi tayo maka-experience ng isa pang um, pandemic for us to realize na we deserve more. We deserve better. So um, there, I just want to say na your vote will matter. Especially if you haven't registered, your vote does matter. So um, don't fall into the trap na we're hopeless because um, there's hope pa rin if we all come together. So yeah, um, shout out <laughs> shout out to my um, org Achievers Council for Excellence because my org that's where I realized if you believe in hope if, if you believe in people you can make a difference so it's very similar to what we're talking about today now if we if we believe if we learn how to believe in the youth then the youth will do their part they're gonna come out of their shell spread their wings fly as, <laughs> as romantic as it may sound but yeah that's that's the beauty of and the power now we can hold if we learn how to believe in. So if we believe in people, um, then definitely they, they're going to pay you back. They're going to repay your faith. So I've learned that in um, my org. So shout out. <laughs> shout out, Ace. <please. laughs> shout out, shout out. And last but not the least, Hi. <laughs> number 28. <laughs> this Alexa, <laughs> give you a job. <laughs> Hello, mga kababayan. <laughs> hello, Philippines, and hello, world. Char. Uy, sensitive topic. Wag. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, for my last words, for the youth, for everyone who's listening, sa lahat ng pinopost ng mga tao sa social media ngayon, for sure, pagod na bakit na kayo makita marinig to pero um, go to your nearest um, registration place kung ano man tawag doon <laughs> um, magpa-re- magpa-register na kayo kasi it will make the biggest difference in the world your vote might be the tiebreaker lalo na yung tayo mga Gen Z we are Gen Z hindi, ta- hindi na tayo pumasok sa ano sa isa sa kala natin lahat millennial tayo but we are Gen Z um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are Gen Z and we are like sabi sa isang post and uh, trusted post naman siya that we are like 40 million so grabe if you are part of Gen Z or other generation regardless kung ano generation kayo please vote please register to vote kasi katawad ng sabi ko kanina I know we're fighting for so much na kalokohang nangyayari sa Pilipinas but we also have to pray and look forward to a peaceful end to this and that might be the result of your vote. <laughs> so, so I because of the people who are supporting me, oh, wow, who are supporting me. So shout out to my NAS Academy family, NAS Studios. Um, shout out to, um, of course, my UE fam, um, the friends I've made there and the friends I made in Unchano and also my family and Salamat sa pa birthday gift na to uh, DSC. Yes. Birthday ko bukas. So wow. thank you so much. Happy birthday. Wow. Happy, happy birthday. Yeah. Woo. Grabe. Feel ko na sa Jollibee ako. Isa pa. <laughs> <laughs> Ito na sa Jollibee. Ay, KFC pala to. <laughs> Hi. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, Miss Alexa. Thank you so much uh, once again to our wonderful guest, Mr. Brown, Miss Alexa, and Miss Elena. Thank you so much for coming in to the DS podcast, being our wonderful guest, and giving your words of inspiration, giving your insights, especially now that the elections are coming, or not the elections, but rather voting registration is coming to a close, which I hope they do extend it in the near future, or rather, hopefully tomorrow, no? 
Let's cross our fingers for that. But once again, as we close down this podcast, I just want to say that if you're tired of what's happening in the country right now, tired of this pandemic, tired of how everything is built, and you know that the Filipino people deserve more, you guys know who to vote for. And once again, I am Miguel Dos Reyes, your host for this episode. And this has been the DSC Podcast. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.